What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultra Zilla Toys, and today I have a review of the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars Hit. Surprise, surprise! Bandai America dropped the latest wave of uh, Dragon Star figures early. Not only that, but there's also like some GameStop exclusive figures out there, um, and I may or may not have those coming, um, to coincide with the release of the game, and I'm guessing also that's why they released these guys early, so pretty cool, I was able to pick up, if you didn't see my haul of the week, I was able to pick up, um, two of the guy, two of these guys, um, hit here, and, uh, and trunks, there's a size comparison for you. Um, yeah, I picked these guys up, and uh, I'm getting these reviews done right away. Uh, decided to go individually here, since I don't have, uh, the third of the figures, the blue Goku. Um, so yeah, you know, I've done them in waves, I've done them individually. You know, this time I'm going individually, that's cool. I go on and off with that, depending on the series, and depending on what. Doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> So hit here uh, comes with a couple of extra hands uh, in the box. He comes uh, with the two fist hands, oh, and there goes a fist hand, and these two like kind of claw-ish hands. Um, so not bad looking, sculpted pretty well and done in purple. So pretty good. Let's bring in hit, and he looks pretty decent. You know, I don't have like a ton of experience with hit, so I can't you know, go crazy on the accuracy, but, you know, doing some cursory glances on the, on the Google, you know, uh, and looking at all the picks up against him, I, I, I don't know, I think it looks decent enough, you know, um, as a representation, maybe there could be some more panel lining, some more color, uh, but for what it is, you know, a 20 buck or so figure, I got them for twenty two ninety nine dollars on my GameStop, um, yeah, it's okay. To me, you know. Uh, the coat here, or hip skirts, or whatever they are, long hip skirts. I think it's more like a coat. Um, they're like in a softish plastic. And they do get out of the way decently. Um, you know, I don't know how these are attached here completely, but it looks like they're kind of stuck in and under. Um, but, yeah. They're okay. They're sculpted well. I mean, it's on model. So it looks pretty good. Same thing with the boots. They look pretty good. Um, I think maybe this should be darker from the pics I've seen, but it's not so bad. You know, I like the little knee guards. They look pretty good. The belt is okay. Nice yellow there. Yeah, it's not bad. The teal all looks pretty good all around on those legs and stuff. So yeah, I guess I'm doing sculpt and paint all at once. Cause it's not really that much paint. It's a lot of like different colored um, plastics mostly. The yellow is painted there. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. The way it's put together is pretty good. I do wish this purple and this purple were the same. Uh, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but it looks kind of weird to me. His head kind of has that same feel, you know, a little bit of a lighter purple plastic. Um, but, you know, it also gives you some more shades to work with, and that's not so bad. You know what I'm saying? Face sculpt, I think, looks okay. Not so bad. I think the eyes look pretty good. The mouth looks decent enough. Does he have a little scar in his mouth? Because I feel like... I don't know if that's just a mess up, but I feel like there's a little bit of a something something right at the corner of his mouth there. So I don't know. A little bit of extra white paint going on to the purple there. That's forgivable on a figure like this. These ear pieces are okay. They also have a little bit of extra white that comes out, but it's not so bad. The helmet all together looks decent enough. Um, it's not bad. My biggest issue, um, looks wise of this figure are these really bad looking shoulders. Wow. That is terrible. Look how far 
they go in on the joint. That's really weird to me. It's a little better here on trunks. It comes up a little more, but these are really sunken in. I don't know why they they did it so badly. Let me let me grab a first series. I'm right here. Let's grab a let's grab a Goku. Yeah. And here's Goku from the first series. I, I that's not there at all. So I don't know what Bandai America is doing with that. That looks pretty bad. Here's a size comparison there. Goku hit. We'll get our size comparisons in a little bit of time. But yeah, that is terrible. What is up with that, Bandai America? That's that's pretty bad. And you know, to see it also a little bit on uh trunks there, hmm. Bad design choice. I don't know what you guys are doing. You didn't have that problem in the first series. First two. So, <sighs> yeah. So that to me is the, the, the most egregious thing about the figure. Um, let's look at the articulation because you might think the articulation is the worst thing. Head really just swivels. I could go back and forth just a bit, but really with the high collar here, which I do like, it's, r it's really hard to do anything else. Uh, the aforementioned shoulders gives you a decent range of motion though so that's pretty good so on a hinge and a swivel there and then you got an upper bicep rotation you got double jointed elbows that's nice you got swivel and hinge at the wrist no uh, chest articulation as you can see you got a sw swivel oh and oh my god oh my god now we know how hit <laughs> is put together here how about that wow Oh, and I was wondering about this, so there you go. Hey. 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 Let's see how it looks without it, shall we? Little bit of a side <laughs> deal here, but... Ugh. All right. That's... That is what a hit looks like without it. Feels incredibly, <laughs> incredibly floppy, uh, unfortunately. So kind of floppy, but if you want this look, that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, so he's got that, like, waist that's very loose. <laughs> Looser without this, uh, obviously. The uh, legs. Now, I've noticed on the two figures, the first two waves had a better... This guy is not so bad, and at least I could pull him down. Had a better drop-down hip than these two do, at least. So, this is all you can do with him. That's what you could do with him without the hip skirt there. But maybe we should put it back, because you know what? That's not proper representation of how the articulation would be. So let's go ahead and get <laughs> hit back together here. Let's see. Let's see if this is easy. Come on. Hoi! Oh. Whew. Aw. Oh. It is so like such a small joint and with I can see why Okie dokie. I had to do that off camera. I can see uh, why <sighs> um, you'd want that on there because it does, it does make his midsection a little tighter. He's not as floppy anymore, is he? So that does help, but without it, wow, he's pretty floppy. But with it, this is about as far as he can go because of that. So yeah, it is what it is. He does have a double jointed knee. There, so I don't know how easy it is to get that second. There we go. And uh, no boot cut, but then he's got an ankle rocker and a hinge. So pretty good there. Not so bad. Whew. But yeah, that's that's that midsection's a little bit of a problem. So articulations, man, he does have some some weird issues, and I have no idea how good. I There we go. All right, so 
Um, he's okay. He's he's not the greatest. Um, he's not the worst. But yeah, I mean, on the shelf, I think he's gonna look fine. You know, for my purposes, I think he's he's totally fine. Um, like I said in my haul video, I really feel like these Dragon Star figures are really my speed when it comes to Dragon Ball Z for the type of fan I am. Very, very, very minimal fan. Um, I do like the aesthetic, so that's why I like getting them. Uh, but I don't want to spend, like, a lot of money on the figure arts because, you know, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm a 20 buck around 20 buck fan <laughs> and I will get like a figure out here or there you know I did get uh, order mess uh, Mester, uh oh I can't even think right now the dude with the turtle shell uh, so but uh, yeah I did order him recently um, this week so I do want that one I think that one looks really awesome but anywho here's some more size comparisons here's a uh, that's head 2 from Marvel Legends and um, Raphael from uh, Aspen Balor. And let's get one more little figure in there. Baloo from Tailspin. All right, guys, that's all I have for this review. It's an okay figure. It's not bad. He does have some issues for sure. Um, but I think looks-wise, he's not bad. So I'm good with it that way. All right, guys, so please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.